every morning when you get up, whether you go out and make coffee or whether you turn on your shower, imagine when you did that if nothing's there. Water is a resource that we have to understand how to provide it to others. In 2016, conversations started in generalities with the city of Mitchell. They were looking for a redundant water source. We were one of their options. And then on or about 2022, then it started to get serious of looking at conceptual design. How much water can you provide us? Where's the water coming from? And cost. And here's what we can do. We can bring 70 miles of pipeline to serve the city of Mitchell from our Platt plant. And we also upgraded the intake at that time and things started to fall in place. So this is the groundbreaking. It's an exciting ceremony for this community. It's for the 75 mile project. It's 30 inch uh, HDPE pipe. They're putting in about 10,000 feet a week. It's a pretty aggressive uh, schedule and a pretty fantastic uh, project that's gonna bring water uh, from the Missouri River all the way into these communities and into Mitchell. This project really ends up being the the catalyst for all growth that we'll end up continuing to have in, in Central South Dakota. And so when you look at major limiters that we get with economic development, 100% of the time it's, it's water in this neck of the woods. Every community needs water. Water is the life blood of the world. When you come out to South Dakota and you just see how dependent these farmers and ranchers uh, are on water, as well as these communities that are spaced all across the, the great state of South Dakota, it's, it's hugely important. This project is really kind of a monumental scale. Um, coordinating the design effort as well as the construction effort, making sure that all of those pieces come together to meet a really aggressive two-year kind of time frame to make it all the way through that design and all the way through that construction in two years as well is really a monumental task and one that we're excited to be a part of. Collaboration is the most important. If you don't have that end communication or collaboration to talk to, it can, it can become awfully contentious. There's a lot of people involved with the design process on this, so we collaborate a lot of information every day to make sure that the pipe is where we want it, how we want it, and the way the owner wants it. HCP is a great choice for a project like this. We have several bores that need to be flexible in the direction that they take. Uh, the HTP pipe is very flexible, allowing us to go down or come up as necessary, as well as to make left and right bends in the roadways and through the right-of-ways. I've been doing this for 30 years, and I don't, I've never seen a leak yet in this product, whereas I have in all the other ones that are out on the market. In my mind, HDP is the only product to use. You don't have joints. You can train your own staff how to fuse pipe. We can go a mile at a time with fused HDB pipe and it's, it's a seamless product. Our goal is about 530 foot in a day, but we've had good days of 900 foot per machine. It's pretty simple. You, you fuse the stuff together and pull it along. As long as you get everything set up and you watch your numbers, watch your pressures, it's a foolproof system. You're comparing it with a steel pressure pipe or a concrete pressure pipe or a PVC that can have some issues uh, from installation or from the metallic corrosion over time. Uh, this is a, a fantastic product that can handle surge, cyclical fatigue, all kinds of things without having any issue and any disruption to the water system. I think the greatest thing ESCO did for us is they recognized the small rural water utility in South Dakota and the importance that we were. They never were bigger than recognizing who their smallest source is. Because we did not start off at $30 million worth of pipe. We might have started off at 2,000 feet of two inch and they never forgot that. And they cared. The owners cared. The, the owners of the company actually care enough sometimes to call and check on how we're doing. The upper staff care. I don't think that happens every day. 
That is so very important to me. So I want you to think about the importance of water and the investment that uh, my board of directors took to move forward with this. It's the largest undertaking we'll ever have right now at Randall Water. And it, it can cause some nervous tension of how are you gonna get it done? We're doing things uniquely different. This leadership group is doing something that I think is transformational. We talk about large projects in South Dakota, the Lewis and Clark project, which took over 30 plus years to complete. We're going to try to complete a project in two years of 70 miles to serve people. <laughs>